what is going on my people how is everybody doing and how is everybody thrilling and today i got another video for you all today my brothers all glory to the most high god jesus is the way the truth and the life that's what you're gonna hear on this channel from me you're not gonna hear anything else but male development positivity peace the good news gospel that's all you're gonna hear from me and of course you're gonna hear sr content but as long as the holy spirit is with me as long as I stay Holy Ghost filled, I will continue to drop these videos until Christ comes back or until I'm called into the judgment. But as long as I wake up every single day and I have breath in my lungs, and I have sight to see, and my voice is able to utter words, and I'm able to move my body to get to where I need to get to in order to make these videos, I will drop videos. September the 1st, we must stay strong, brothers. We must stay on this journey. We must stay focused. Just got a message. I'm not checking it right now. I'm focused on this video. So, in today's video, after 30 days plus, to me, it's, it's a beautiful thing because now you're just continuing what you already did for 30 days, for another 30 days, and for another 30 days, and for another 30 days, and etc. until we hit that milestone of one year. The beautiful thing about this journey is you will start to accept yourself fully. No more judging yourself. No more negative thoughts about yourself. No more doubting yourself. You will accept who you are. You will accept that you are in the likeness of Christ. You would accept how you look. You would accept how you speak. You would accept the way that you think. As long as your thoughts are lovely, as long as your thoughts are positive, as long as your thoughts are of God, as long as your thoughts are righteous and pure, you are going to accept that. You're not going to accept negativity anymore. Because you accept yourself and you love yourself fully now, now you're able to understand, okay, this is what I need to be focusing on. I need to be focusing on my health. I need to be focusing on the good news. I need to be focusing on SR. I need to be focusing on being obedient to the most high God and being disciplined on this journey. This is very important, it's not a game. When it comes to being obedient to the most high God, this is not a game. We should not be playing around with this. This life that we live, the world that we live in, we are not of this world. We're just a guest in this world. But our light is so bright that everywhere we go, it literally just magnetizes and just makes everybody attention just fall from what they were looking at to on us. So when we get the attention, I'm going to be honest with you. I got to speak on a few more tracks in, in another video because we need to be doing the Lord's work. You know, we need to be doing the Lord's work in our speech and our thoughts and our actions, our deeds, all that. You're going to start to accepting your flaws. You're going to realize that the things that the world told you were flaws it's not really flaws because the most high god looks at the heart of the sin the lord doesn't see the sin in the person he sees the good heart he sees his magnum opus that he created the lord loves the sinner but does not like the sin you are going to accept the fact that okay this is who i am right now but this is not the end goal for me i will be the man that i'm supposed to be i will be exactly who god called me to be you are going to be that that's that's very important that's very important as i'm recording i got people magnetizing towards my energy you know what i mean <laughs> all of that <laughs> Out of all the places that they could have, you know, went, they had to come over here. Come on, there's, there's just no coincidence. Look, brothers and sisters, this wall that I got in front of me, it goes all the way down there. There was no reason that they had to come all the way to where I'm at just to cross over. That energy, I'm telling you, there's just no coincidence. Like, this is not a coincidence. This is not a placebo thing. Your energy is just magnetized. People feel comfortable around you. People feel that peace. That father and his son, he felt comfortable to want to get close to me for whatever the reason was. I have a peaceful spirit, a gentle spirit, so that's, you know, all glory to the Most High God. You love yourself, brothers. You will activate 
self-love brothers you will activate what it means to love yourself that's what it's about when you love yourself and you accept yourself you're not gonna put yourself in harm's way you're not gonna do things anymore that's that's detrimental to your mind body and spirit you're not gonna do that because you accept yourself now you love yourself you are not gonna allow the world to tell you who you are you have the, the scriptures and the Bible and you have uh, God's love that is going to be within you and you're going to understand that this is who I am now. I accept my new life. Once you become a born again follower in Christ, that old life is gone. It's vanished. It's done. People cannot associate you with that old life anymore. That's not who you are. You are a new creation in Christ. You've been forgiven of all your sins. It's beautiful. This is why we stay on this journey, brothers and sisters. This is a great journey. This is a, the path to righteousness. This is a narrow path. You cannot go left, you cannot go right. You cannot serve two masters. What do I mean by that? You cannot be serving the Most High God and still be watching the adult sites. You cannot be trying to be a follower of Christ and still fapping every day. You gotta examine your heart. You gotta figure out what is it that I really want to do and who I want to serve. If you want to serve the enemy, go right ahead. I won't judge you. I'm going to love you from afar because I'm not going to be hit with all that demonic stuff. I'm going to love you regardless of who you decide to serve. But just know that I'm serving the Most High God. Okay? I need to make it into the kingdom and it's not up to you. Okay? The Lord is going to judge me based off the things that I've done on this earth. If I live the wicked life, then I'll be with the wicked. If I live the righteous, holy life, a loving life, a peaceful life, a humble life, I pass away with the Holy Ghost in me and I live the life for Christ, I'll make it into the kingdom. Y'all see me again? I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, when I make it into the kingdom, there's no reason to uh, speak about the SR. Like, because I know once I make it into the kingdom, right, that praise that I had here is going to continue to happen in heaven praising the most high God for what Jesus said there are many mansions I'm going to prepare you a place I can't wait for that SR content is only for the people of the world the people that are not in the world and the people of the world this content is gonna stay on earth I'm not taking it to heaven there's no point and there's no reason to take this to heaven because I've already did what I was supposed to do here on earth. All of this content is supposed to stay here. The Bible is here so we can know how to prepare ourselves for when we get called into the judgment and for the second coming of Christ. When I'm on this earth, it's my duty to continue the Lord's work. But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. I really was just, the spirit was on me and I was just enjoying the feeling of what it feels like to live this righteous lifestyle. It's beautiful. But y'all take care of yourself in September. Like I said, September. Keep going. If you relapse, if you edged, kind of fell short, whatever you did, get on the journey. September 1st, clean slate. Repent so the Lord can forgive you and you go straight on this journey and you start rocking and keep going strong, all right? Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Till next time, much love.